back. Uh, I got a journal to share with you guys. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know. Uh, I think it was last week I posted a um, journal where I had practiced some Coptic stitching, and I was using um, Seneca Pond Crafts kit uh, retro sewing, and I just love this kit so much. I knew. Um, that journal didn't, I don't feel like did it justice because I didn't have any tags in it or journaling cards. So I was really eager to get started back um, with that kit and show you guys it in full. So here it is. This is a, um, oh gosh, really, it's about a five and a half, but really it, it does measure about six inches by eight and a half. And it's got a about a two and a quarter inch spine. And then this is the back of the journal. This is some of the um, papers from the kit. Um, this is a tome. Uh, I've used the Nick the Booksmith uh, course in creating this journal. So... I'm going to get going because I don't have long to record this and it is a big journal. I believe there's about um, 140, I don't know, I think there's, I don't know. In the listing, you'll, you, I'll have the um, number of pages. It's a three signature, let me get it in frame here. It's a three signature journal, um, and like I said, it's in excess of 130, maybe more than that, um, but it will be in the listing below. So anyway, so I'm just going to go through it. Um, I'm going to move fairly quickly because there is a lot to get through. As you can see, it is a big journal. Um, when it's closed, it, you're really looking out three and th <coughs> three quarters of an inch. Um, because there's a lot, a lot in here. The closure, I have just um, taken some muslin scraps um, because I thought it really went nice with this. I tied a bit of um, seam binding at the at the start of it there. Um, let's see. So here I've made a big pocket, um, and that well, two pockets, but this is a big one that you can put some things in. I've lined that. And then I've just uh, added a little file folder. I put S for sewing. Um, gosh, sorry, I should show you the front of this. I'll give you a close-up of that. Um, this, you've got the background paper and then another image. And then I've built, um, I put the little frame with some brads. And then I put I heart sewing. And then here I've got multiple layers of... Um, vintage lace and then this was just some muslin that I, I had uh, stitched up and put some vintage buttons to so sorry about that guys it's late here it's been a very long day but I did want to get this up so you guys could have a look at it everything has been um, tea dyed here I've got another journaling card in this little tuck spot this is some more of the beautiful papers from the kit this is another page. I love that with the zipper. Just gorgeous. Another little handmade tag. And then that's a little pocket I made. This was so much fun to make because um, it really gave me a chance to get into um, my laces and trims and, and just really um, play around. This is another big pocket here. This is a little tuck spot. And then on this side, this opens out, so you've got additional writing space. This is um, a little glassing bag. Now, these bags are available from uh, the Paper Soul, so um, if you guys are looking for it, Laura's got beautiful things in her shop. This is a little book page tuck spot I've made, and then I've included this little vintage calendar. Um, I've got several of these in, the, in here I've included. Um, here, I've, I've made um, a little pocket behind the glassing bag, then obviously got the glassing bag, you can put some things, and then I've just layered up, that's some um, 
muslin that's been stamped and then I've got another little die cut there. Such a pretty um, fresh. Now I've left lots of strings hanging guys so if you don't like that look you, you would not like this journal. They could be trimmed back some but I, I thought it was in keeping with you know sewing because goodness knows my uh, <clears throat> my room is just full of uh, strings in the carpet. Here's another little tuck spot with some um, crocheted trim. This is a uh, fabric pocket I created and I'll just get a little piece of paper there and then that's got some of the little um, measuring tape trim. This was so much fun to play with. Um, here's another little tuck spot. Some paper. Um, another pocket here. Now, I didn't add, as you can see, I didn't add tags or cards to everything because it was getting so big. And there are a lot in this already. So, there's still lots of room for you to add your own. This is some collaged um, tag I made. This is a... Um, this is the center of the signature, and then I created this using two envelopes, and I think I'm going to try in the next week or two, I will do a tutorial on how I made this, because it was so easy, and I think it's really nice in the, in the middle of a, a signature. Now this is another part of the kit. If I just stitched it in so that it could flip down, and it also served as a little pocket. That's a journal card from the kit. And there's several of these tiny little envelopes, so I've just folded that over so you could either um, glue it together or just use it for another little journal spot. <coughs> and then this is another tuck spot here. Got some of the um, trim, kind of eyelash, eyelash trim. And then here I've made a little... Um, this is out of one of the little, um, oh gosh, sorry guys, my mind's blank. You know, little wage envelope. And then I just tucked a little vintage thing in here. And then this is, you get these little um, cutouts. And I thought well, that's just cute with an eyelet. So you could make like a book, um, a bookmark with that. This is another little tuck spot. And these tickets are from the Papered Souls. So check out Laura's shop. She's on Etsy. She's got gorgeous things. This is one of my little tea bag pockets. I thought that went perfectly. Now this is a double pocket. So you've got that space there and then behind you've got another one. And then that's just a little tag I tucked in the first part. So a couple more pockets for you. It's the back of the bag. And then here I've just tucked in one of the extra um, printouts. And I just distressed it a bit, stuck that into this little tuck spot here I've made. Um, here is another pocket. Lots of stitching in here, guys. All of this has been stitched around. Um, I really did. It was nice. It was nice to sit at my machine again. Uh, this is another big pocket in the journal. Some more of that beautiful paper. Love those. Yeah, I just couldn't. Uh, there was no way I was I was not going to have to make another journal with this kit because it is just so pretty. This is another tuck spot. Um, sorry, I didn't show you guys. I stitched some uh, vintage buttons to this. This is one of the um, this little card. Eileen sells in her shop as well. So I'll tuck that in there for you. And then here's another little pocket on a um, envelope. So you've got room to put some things in there as well. This is one of the journaling cards. Some vintage uh, trim I've got. Doily. This is some old... Um, uh, pattern, pattern instructions there. This is another of the little journaling cards from the kit. And this is one of the, um, you get a sheet 
full of these little, in fact, I think there's two sheets full of these little um, images. They are so sweet. So I've stapled that in as a little tuck spot. And then this is a little floating pocket. Well, it's actually a double pocket. And uh, so you, if you wanted to, you could you could put that in the journal permanently, but I like it as a floating one. And here's another big pocket for you. Now this pocket I've created with um, one of the, <clears throat> I think it's a 6x9 envelope, and I've uh, decoupaged some of the old uh, pattern, and then I took... Um, some muslin, stitch that down there, and this is one of the little tiny pockets in the kit. And then I've just put one of the little shipping tags in there, and this is the back of it, so you've still got the pattern showing through. And here I've just made a little um, altered paper clip, and then this is a little tag that's got another pocket tucked inside there. Yeah, it was so much fun playing with this because I love all the bright colors. This is just the star cutout that I've backed on some card sex with. So it's very thick. You could uh, do some journaling behind that. This is the center of the second signature. Um, here's what I was talking about with the little spools. Aren't they sweet? I love that. So I made a little tuck spot there. And then this also is another little tuck spot on the journal. I think that's adorable. Love that page. Uh, here's another um, tuck spot under here. And this is another pocket that's made with some muslin, some uh, trim, and there again, this is the back of that envelope, so you've got that um, decoupaged um, Pattern. Sorry guys, I'm, I shouldn't do these videos at night. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, this is one of the tags that comes in the kit and I've just cut it out, um, split it in half and stitched it and it just uh, fits perfectly over the little page so you could use it as, you know, it could hold some things in there as well. And then here is another tuck spot. This is some uh, stitch, uh, a stitchery book page. And then this one's um, just tucked and stitched there. And then I did some uh, layering with some um, stamped image and then some of the papers that I had left over. And this is another of the little <coughs> tiny envelopes. It's so sweet. So those are just tucked in there. Lots of writing space. Um, this is a pocket I've created with several layers of material. And then this is one of the tags. I've cut that out and stitched that as well. So you got a place there you can put some items. And then this is another little collaged pocket with some trims. And it's just so much fun. Um, because the colors in this kit, I had a lot of um, scraps from previous projects so this it just worked out beautifully that I could use those because it all coordinated so nicely and this is the last signature let me see how I'm doing on time okay guys we've got to get going here's another big pocket there and here I've done um, let's see if I can show you up close there I did, uh, this is one of the tags that I've stitched to another tag and then I've stamped sew on there and this is a little cut out mason jar and this is one of those, it's like a, um, I don't know, it's like wallpaper sample um, but they're really, really nice. Um, I like having lots of things, you know, to, to touch within the journal and then I've got a little bitty button on there, those are so sweet. 
love that image. So pretty. Yeah, this is a really it it's a it's a, a kit that just makes you feel happy when you're working with it because it's so bright and uh, it's just fun. I really you can't you can't feel down when you're working with this one because it's it's just so cheerful. The colors are really bright and spring-like. Yeah, this one's got several pages for you to, to write in. And like I said, that's a little floating. You could stick, put that anywhere in the journal if you wanted. This is an Edith Holden page. Um, here's another big pocket. And you've got a place you can write the date and some details. So that's awesome. And then this back is a, another um, double pocket here. And then that's a pocket as well. And then I've left a place. You can do some writing there. It's another bag. That's from um, Papered Soul. And then this is some of my handmade um, paper. So you, it's very, it's 300 GSM, so you could you could do some mixed media on that paper. Um, this is a tea dyed <coughs> window envelope that I've layered um, some of the measuring tape ribbon, vintage lace over some more trim, and then I made this little journal card. So that's got paper, um, pattern paper behind it, and then I've stitched over it, and then I've just folded over one of the little bobbins from the kit and made a little tab out of that, and that fits right in here, and I actually forgot, just give me a second. Gosh, I don't know. I've forgotten. I had, yeah, I hope this will fit in there. Maybe not. This is actually another little pocket, and I'll just put that in there because that was in, meant to be a little tag. So that's, it's like a double pocket, and then you can flip it up and do some secret writing here. So this page, let's see, I've got some fabric and then I went over it with some of the paper, the digital um, paper and I printed that out on cardstock and then I stitched that pocket and then just did some little um, couple of different trims I've got and sewed the button on so that's a, a big pocket there for you and then this I've just left that so that that's the cent center of the signature so you could either um, glue that and make it in you know, a private little place or you could just keep it for writing. So I've left that open. And then this is another of the little calendar cards. Um, and then a tuck spot there. And then this is uh, just a couple of little things in this pocket that's been collaged with some doily that was coming apart and various trims and stitching. Some more of that wall, um, handmade paper bag. This is another double pocket here. So you can do writing. This is a big pocket here. And then this is a double tuck spot. I want you to see that paper. It's so pretty the way she collages the images. I'm sure they call it something different to that. The techies do, but I'm not savvy on that, as you guys all know. Yeah, I'm lucky I can even print things, to be honest. <laughs> um, this is one I've stitched around. And then, like I said, that's a, they've got two tuck spots there. Love these papers. That's the image from the front. And then this page, I've 
just done, oh gosh, so much. I've got a couple, I've got some cardstock, then I've layered some of the image, some of the trim. So you've got a tuck spot there, and then I got these little um, vintage, oh, I don't know what they even are, eyelets or something. Um, so I've just included those in there. I thought those went were so good with this. I've been hoarding those for a while, and it was this was the perfect opportunity to include them. This is the back page of it, and then I just kept this fairly simple on the back. This is one of the Anna Griffith page, um, pockets, and then this is one of the journaling cards. I love that. So that is it. That's the back of the journal. Beautiful. So anybody that loves sewing is certainly going to um, enjoy this, I think. I'm really, really happy with how this has come out. It's been... You know, some things you work with and you just really enjoy, and I did. I really enjoyed making this journal. I'm so happy with the result of that. So pretty. So anyways, guys, I'm going to put the link below. Uh, thank you so much for uh, your patience tonight. I know I, uh, I said I shouldn't be doing these at night, but anyway, sometimes you can't help it. But... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying it here. I appreciate you guys all so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Bye.